Hey, look, man. All of the little baby shit. Drop it. But yeah. But yeah, so today I would just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about um what up YouTube. Um let a shout out to my new subscribers on here. Um um anybody who watching ain't subscribed, subscribe, like the video. And um we're about to tap in. I see we got um people coming in, um uh, straggling in right now though. But um I'm live on IG and YouTube and Facebook um all right now. So shouts out to everybody watching. And um, yeah, so I was talking to more more about um the shit like stuff that I'm like really, really into. Um what's up, Detroit, as far as like the ideology of being an entrepreneur, um, right now. Right now, as, as I've been doing, moving over, uh, I don't know if a lot of y'all ever heard of the cash flow quadrant though, but it's like moving from like employee to self-employee, then moving over to business owner to investor. So that's pretty much what, what I'm what I'm switching over to. You know, um, I guess a lot of people who don't do business don't really understand the concept though. So as a um, like a lot of people was thinking like I'm getting out of trucking in a sense of um I'm getting out of owning the business of a trucking to do like dispatching and things with less overhead. And instead of if the game is only supplying me fourteen hundred dollars profit a week, it only it only makes sense to just rent my trucks out for a thousand a week, twenty cents a mile. You know, that just makes sense to just leverage my assets at this point. You know, because I got I probably got like and just trucking assets, I probably got five hundred thousand in trailers and trucks. So I could just leverage that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having drivers, I could leverage it and make 10 bands a week off of that and be doing something completely different. It don't really make sense to, to not leverage it and keep on playing the game that way though. So I'm kind of just trying to put y'all on the, um, on the, on the understanding of how entrepreneurship work. Cause I know a lot of people that follow me is people that is trying to get in the game. There's some people that's in the game, but like I said, I'm still learning. I've been in the game, but everything is more, is more going to, um, to assets. You know what I'm saying? Like, cash money is, is 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 dying you know what i mean so so i'm just trying to tell y'all that like you don't like getting into trucking now getting into trucking and renting out trucks and getting into trucking and renting out trailers and getting into trucking is like become a support like nobody's really talking about all of the support around trucking businesses that that like that, that trucking businesses need like dispatchers and um let's think about commercial insurance like nobody's thinking like oh yeah i want to go go sell some commercial insurance like that's a, that's less overhead but if everybody's getting in the game it's pretty much you're gonna have clientele because there's a bunch of new people getting in the game and you could be the agent for them like um every i'm trying to get everybody to start thinking outside the box and, and instead of everybody thinking of this one way to to do something that that has a thousand different legs to it you know um most people don't want to hear about that but i don't give a shit because my, my platform is shifting from me just strictly talking about trucking to me talking about entrepreneurship as a whole. So I'd be looking for more questions and more things geared toward business in general, because like right now I'm opening up my investment por portfolio. I'm, I'm jumping out, getting back into like, um, getting getting more real estate to add to my portfolio, getting getting more office and things. Um, I hope y'all, um, okay, I'm assuming that y'all can hear me though, cause ain't nobody, uh, I mean, people still logging in, so. I'm assuming that y'all can hear me. You got an apple seed head, but you be speaking facts though. <laughs> niggas be taking uh taking shots. Oh, I guess I ain't a shot. Niggas Johnny. But y'all hear me, whatever. But don't distract the message. Um, I have ideas, I need capital. Uh, I mean, that's a capital is a I mean, is a is a is a thing to get. Yeah, I mean, it ain't really that difficult to really get once you, I mean, you get an EIN number. If if you go online, you could find a way to get it. There's YouTube videos that, um, that, that I, that, that I even seen like a while back when, before I was even really, um, knew a whole lot about business credit, where if you follow these steps, you would spend like three grand and turn around and, you know, in six to seven months, you would be able to get approved for, a, um, for like 60, 60 to like a hundred thousand. And it's all simple stuff that y'all hear. Um, like say for instance, I'm gonna give y'all an example of something that's simple that um that 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 people ain't really like the 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 um the quill accounts. All of that stuff is simple stuff. Just getting the quill accounts, the t-shirt accounts, paying that stuff off every 30 days, buying like you could buy stuff like for your company that you need. All of that stuff is gonna get you to the point where you can you don't have to put the take the funds out your pocket. Three thousand. If would you spend thirty five hundred dollars to get a fifty thousand dollar loan? 
I was like, I don't want to spend no money to get people. All right, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to spend money to 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 get to get some money that's gonna that you could be able to flip and leverage, you know. So, like I said, a lot of a lot of my talks is definitely gonna be um more geared toward entrepreneurship. So if whoever whoever ain't with that, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much where it's going. Trucking is trucking is only one thing, you know. Um, if y'all ain't with that, I understand. Cool. Um. I rock with whoever that's that's just rocking with me. They wanna they wanna follow the the journey as I'm starting to turn up and flip these these um these properties, um seeing me purchasing businesses, going going into them, I'm gonna buy them, build them up, resell them. Like I mean, I'm trying to play a bigger game now. You know what I'm saying? Something 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 with a lot lot more flexibility. But now I'm gonna jump into the Q and A. I didn't um I didn't talk to um I didn't talk to enough. So let me go ahead. Hey family, proud of you. Thank you, thank you. All right, for sure. All right, so y'all showing love. You got a couple of people trying to uh trying to talk some stuff. So what's good? So what's up? What's up, Kobe? Do you talk about hot shot trucking? Um, not really. I mean, trucking, trucking in general. I mean, hot shot is not it's the same same load, boy. You're still gonna go to DAT. Um, uh, mostly you're just gonna put in a partial load. I mean, it's 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 not much more different than that. Um, really, just. You just putting in the weight. You just putting in the feet. You know. Are you open to other investments? Oh yeah, I'm open to to a lot of investments. Mostly, mostly real estate though. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Are oh, your yeah, M2L films know exactly what I'm talking about? Um, some people gonna understand it. That's why I said me. I, I ain't I ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't it ain't really meant for everybody to get it. For everybody to um. To rock with you, you know. Um, so, sometimes you got you got people that follow you and they, you know, what I'm saying they time be up, you know. Yeah, shouts out to everybody that's in. Um, but yeah, so let me um so do y'all got questions? Cause I'm just doing a quick little live real quick, just trying to answer some questions. Um, everybody know that fuel is high, everybody know um that I was telling y'all to look look deeper in the trailers. Hold on, it's something about my um this YouTube. I don't know what what be tripping on it. Creating multiple cash flow is key. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, should I sell my box truck and get a semi? Uh, I would. I would say. I would say. Depending on what what your box truck is making. For real. I mean, if your box truck is not, if you ain't satisfied with it, of course you're gonna make more with a semi. But do you got a CDL? You know, uh, do you want to deal with drivers that be quitting? You know, every two month, two or three months. You know what I'm saying? What problems are you willing to deal with? You know, is where they go down. I ain't willing to deal with them driver problems no more, for real. What you think about auto transport broker side of business? Um, I think auto transport is great. Like, if I was to restart all the way back over and I had to get back in the truck, I would, I would definitely go get me, uh, um, like uh, somebody just said, I would say a Ram truck with a gooseneck. Yeah, that's exactly what I would go get. Like, um. I would do that because to me it's much much simpler than a box truck. It's much smaller and it burns less fuel, and you're still pulling the same weight. So I mean, to me, I'm I'm choosing a dually truck and high shot over a box truck. If it's just if I just had only one truck, I know a few people that's scaling that business from that aspect, but not a whole lot. So somebody asked me, "What's a good? Where's the best place to purchase a box truck?" I mean, go to go to commercial truck trader because that's gonna have multiple different dealers. Period. Um, that'll be the best way because I definitely ain't got no more of them. All all of the assets I got right now, I'm keeping them. As far as I got six trucks and and five trailers, and I'm keeping all of those because all of those can make me a nice amount of cash flow. I'm just I'm just turning trucking into real estate. Same thing, taking what I own, just making money off of it. So I don't see no more questions on IG. So I'm gonna jump over to um uh, hold on. Now somebody said, um, KX Nation said, how much capital you need to start with the real with real estate? I mean, you gotta be clever, man. Like um playing the credit game, um, I, I'm able, I was always able to have way more money than I had. I was always able to have more money in credit than I ever was able to have, like and um and like my in physical form though. But you it's all about leverage and credit, you know what I'm saying? With credit. It ain't for luxury, it's for leverage, you know. So if you if you leverage the credit, everything will be all right for real. Um, but I'm like I said, I've been finding some properties that's like uh, it's a property in Atlanta that's coming on the market. It's 
for like 280 after repair value, it's gonna be like worth about 550. Probably gotta put about 75 G's in there. But key thing, I use my I use my business credit and I end up getting a fifty thousand dollar car with Home Depot. So if base and I got 60 days to pay it back. So when I'm doing my flips, it's gonna make perfect sense because now I can go buy everything on this car and I ain't gotta pay this car back to 60 days. So by that time, the the everything will be already done and it'll be back on the market to flip. And if I can't pay it back right away, I could just take some cash and pay it back. But the key thing is in a 60 day window, I wanna have my stuff done and flipped anyway. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I'm gonna jump over to, what up Trella Strong? I see you up in here. Well, what to do y'all, but yeah. So um, I got a question coming in from YouTube. Um, What's the range and the rate per mile you have been sending a semi lady getting my CDL. Um, we've been averaging like still three. The the money hasn't really changed. It's just that it, it needs to go up because the fuel prices is, is is affecting it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I'm saying we on, on some days I'm seeing the backhauls of being a little a little less, but I've been still hitting 7,000, 7,200, 7,500, 8,000 still on certain weeks. So it's not that we not that I'm not getting the um the money that I've been getting because I still got dedicated every day. I still got making the Charlotte every um I got 14 of those loads a week. And that's 1400 um that's 1400 dollars for to go 250 miles. And now I think that it's up to like 1475 with um fuel surcharge. Yeah I think my my IG just um froze but yeah it's up to 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 1400 I mean to like 1475 with fuel surcharge. So keep that in mind that if you think about something, if I got 10 units, right? So I'm moving 10 trucks. In January, and I know I said this a couple of times, I don't think people really understand it. In January, I literally had, um, I was paying $700 a week in fuel, seven to $800 a week to do this, these same dedicated lanes six days a week. That same lane is costing me 2,200 now. That's times 10. So you so the, what's the difference in between that? That's that's like a fifteen hundred dollar difference. That's the difference of fifteen thousand dollars a week. That's sixty grand a month. That's a that's a huge hit. So even though it's still profitable, why wouldn't I, a person that's already got the assets, leverage them until the game get better? That 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 only makes perfect sense. Okay, look, I ain't I ain't got no drivers no more. Boom. Guess what? I'm gonna still have the equipment. So if the game turn back gravy six months from now. Boom, put drivers back in the game. Boom, I'm back in the game, winning, and I'm, I'm going to do that. And that's how I'm going to play the game. I'm going to play the game. If the game's good, I'm going to do it a certain way. When the game's bad, I'm going to do it a different way. Not everybody want to do that, but that's how that's how I'm going to play the game because they they my assets and I'm going to leverage them the way that I want to leverage them. You know, everybody ain't got to play the game the same. It ain't um it ain't 1932. A good factory company, Um, I got a link in the, um, in the description. You could click on it. Um. For the factory company that I recommend, so I can get me a little coins with you. Um, good evening, Kobe. Just got my CDL Thursday. Going to trade in my box truck for a semi. That's what's up. Congratulations, Bronx bred box trucker. I want to know how to start off in the trailer rental. You have any YouTube videos or a link? Nah, but on uh, Trailer Strong is on my live on on IG. Um, you could look you could look him up on IG Trailer Strong. That's exactly what he has been doing for for years and years and years. So I actually just I actually just got his his course myself though, just so I can learn a little a different perspective on 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 on, um, on trailers and stuff. So like I still purchase courses like I is that's the thing. I mean I got my own dispatching course and stuff like that, but I purchase other courses because I'm still trying to learn. Like I'm still trying to get better. What do you think about delivery apps replacing the broker side of the business? I think it's great. <laughs> I I'm loving that these apps are coming out. Um, the death of brokers is, I mean, if I knew a way that I could get rid of brokers, I'll stay in the game and fight that, you know, straight up. But I don't know a way of getting rid of them and getting to, and getting the shippers to deal directly with us, you know, so we can cut out that, 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 that percentage and in the game. But I ain't even really interested because it's, it's, it's much more bigger things like becoming sovereign. So I ain't got to pay taxes, tie myself back to my Indian tribe. You know, it's, it's more important things to do, like studying consumer law and, and, um, and, and understanding how to tap into 
the the bread that we got in the Federal Reserve. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just it's a whole lot of other stuff that's just way more important. You know, like when everybody's talking about they ain't got money to um to start a business when we got millions of dollars in our in a Federal Reserve account already that we just the reparations are here. We just don't know how to get them. You know, and that's the thing that that that's the real shit that I be want to talk to people about though. But yeah, so a lot of that's gonna be coming. You know, I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be talking about like like real stuff and like I said, like the the the, the stuff that where where the money's there. Capital gain, getting capital ain't ain't really difficult for real. We just gotta study the money and understand it. You know, we just. We just got a bad relationship with money, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna be touching on that. The more people ask me questions about certain things like that, I'll I start to jump more into that. But for right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stay on topic, though. Uh, okay, boom. Answer that question. Answer that question. I'm selling my 2021 for it. Who care with 22 box air? Uh, if gave 31,000 miles. Okay, hey. Yeah, you gonna get a grip for that. What's the ticket on it? What's the fastest way to build business credit? Um, that's a question from Facebook. The fastest way to build business credit is, of course, go get your LLC, go get your EIN number, go get a Quill account. Go get a, um. It's different tiers to building a business credit, but you gotta get you gotta pay the thirty nine the thirty dollars I think twenty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine for NAV, so you can watch your business credit, see what's being reported to it. You gotta go get a Dunn's number, like it's. Look, it's video like look, y'all can literally um you have all that already. Okay, so what exactly are you uh, basically all you got to do in order to build your business credit is to to b make purchases. Like you got to get it, make purchases, pay the thing off. It's going to take 6 months. You know, it's it's not going to be a fast process. You know, everybody wants it it like like that. And that's the problem. Wealth wealth don't come fast like that. You can get rich fast. You know what I'm saying? But wealth well, this is one of those things where, like I said, I, I believe if you do it right in seven months, you should do it. But you got to be aggressive. Like you got to be once you get that first tier and you got to turn around, and go get gas cards, go get this. But you actually got to use the stuff so it can report like we, we can't just go set up everything and sit dormant. That, that's why I said it might take you thirty five hundred dollars because like we all know that Quill, the anybody who ever looked at Quill knows that that shit is ridu ridiculous like this. The price on it is 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 just stupid, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, okay, I'm gonna pay this forty dollars. You gotta understand that I'm gonna pay this stuff so I can get the fifty thousand to a hundred thousand. You see what I'm saying? Let me. You gotta play the game. It's just it's nothing but a game. We just gotta play the game. You might would you like I said? Are you willing to risk three thousand dollars for fifty thousand? I'm saying, and then and this ain't gonna even be um, and this ain't gonna even be tied to your to your your personal credit. So if you just took the fifty thousand and went and started another company and did it again, I'm uh, maybe I'm saying too much, but yeah, I'll leave that at that. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave that right there. If yeah, if y'all if you get it, <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you just wasn't listening, and that's just that. You know, I just leave that that. But yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I am still mentoring on the trucker side. Um, I got like three slots open right now um, for for mentees. That's it. Like I said, because I'm finna um, I'm making moves on this on this sovereign. So I'm trying to figure out. You know, I'm trying to trying to get get through with these taxes, man. How many trade lines should you have building business credit? Um, many. You know, for real, because the more you got open, and not all of them report to the same place. So you're gonna be building. You got some of them that only report to Experian. And Equifax business. You got some of them that only reports are done in Bradstreet. So you gotta you gotta build, you don't need at least five of them to big to get a paydex score though. Cause the paydex score is like the FICO score for business, and that's what you're gonna need. So that's what you're gonna need. Yeah, 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 bro. It's all about leveraging um the credit, man. I just think everybody got this cash money. And all of this shit all wrong, you know. So, so that's why I can't keep talking about just trucking only. We got to talk business. We got to talk real business. Exactly. Start multiple LLCs and build business on each one of them. That that's. I got eleven LLCs right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's the game. Like I said, I'm 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 playing the game. 
You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but the game. And, and it's like, the crazy thing is that the information is not even hidden nowhere. You know, it's really out here. You just got to take the time to put it together. You know what I'm saying? For real. Can you open multiple businesses under an LLC or do any more? I would say go with multiple LLCs. Each LLC need their own EIN number. Even my even my properties that I got are in their own LLC with their own EIN number, building their own business credit. So when something go wrong with that, property you build up the business credit to get a home depot card or a lowe's card or both cards you take that money when somebody call and they need maintenance for that property you take that now you made that now, now you didn't bought something with it guess what stuff always gonna go wrong with that with that things filters or whatever you know what i'm saying oh if you just bought a couple of filters a month with that with that um with that home depot card boom you 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 used it they ain't say you got to use a hundred thousand say just use it pay it off use it pay it off like it's just it's consistency consistency is how we get to wealth not anything other than that like i said i made hella money in trucking over like a span of two to three years i made hella money but you got to understand what are you going to do when that money stops coming in as fast like i make seventy thousand dollars okay when that slow down what you gonna do what you gonna do when the seventy thousand dollars slow down a month you're gonna need assets to leverage those assets so when hard times come or whenever time come like okay cool let me go um uh, i got three hundred thousand i'm gonna give you an example i got 150 i got a hundred seventy thousand in the crib in st louis i got like three hundred thousand in the crib in my crib out here just just alone that's four hundred and seventy thousand dollars on and, and, and equity i got in real estate just in equity right so i can get loans on that right there and never had and never had to touch none of my other five hundred thousand dollars worth of equity that i got in my in my trucking equipment you see what i'm saying like i'm, I'm trying to put y'all on the real game like that's the real game like businesses and all of this stuff cool you take that money you buy assets and those assets, like I said, I rent trailers out 400 a week. Like I said, 10 trailers, that's four grand a week. Just saying, so 10 more trailers, another four grand, eight grand. So now that money, now that's cash flow. See what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it's, it's sprinkles. Sprinkles to get your ass wet. And that's the mindset you gotta have. Like, it might not seem like a lot. Like, damn, well, why would I do this little 400 dollar little trailer? That seemed like a waste of time. That's only $1,600 a month. But yeah, if you times that by 10, that's 16 grand a month you know what i'm saying <laughs> so sixteen thousand, you know that's that's a six-figure business you see what i'm saying so my trucks i got two six-figure businesses just between the trucks and the trailers plus six figures i i don't know i don't know if y'all following me though but i'm gonna jump back into these questions though phone boss gave me thirty thousand in business no personal i took 12 paid it back in three months they're offering company for you now hey you understand what i'm saying though you get it you build it you use it they're gonna keep giving you more and more and more bro i got three i think i got three now i got three american express platinum cars bro with no limit that's what i'm saying like bro like i'm just saying i'm just trying to give y'all the game <laughs> i'm just trying to give it to y'all like right real quick because like i said eventually i might not have time he said how much the trailer no the trailers ain't got no notes they all pay for. And then I'm gonna be flipping, I'm gonna be flipping some of the properties too, because I, I only wanna hold um the only ones I wanna hold is multifamily. For real. So fastest bread I've ever seen was in real estate, renovate and cash out, refinance all day. And that's what I'm saying. Like I can buy and hold some of them, you know what I'm saying? Like like that one for 280, we can get it, hold it, and then just pull money out, keep it and rent it out. Or either we could just get rid of it if it if, if it ain't one like I don't really care about that on my um portfolio though I want I want multi families I ain't, I ain't care I ain't caring about no single families on there for real. Any advice on first year taxes? Um, definitely get an accountant. Um, even 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 though you might feel like you ain't made enough, they gonna teach you a few tricks that you just don't know. What's the best place to purchase trailers? Um. Like I said, when, when they come to buying stuff, I would say go to the first place I always go to is commercial truck trailer, truck, commercial truck trader. You know, that's my first stop every time. Appreciate the game. Hey, man, I appreciate you even, 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 even coming on here listening. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have three, two families in Bronx, New York, and one four unit in Scranton. Hey, 
six thousand passive after expense eight hundred thousand equity. Hey, that's what's up. Hey, that's what I'm saying. So you basically, so in your business, you basically just taking all of that cash and just buying more assets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real. Somebody hit me right now. My partner, um, my partner hit me right now. I wish I could see how I got a business idea, bro. That's that's what I'm saying. Like it's all about like you ain't gotta always have the money. You ain't gotta ha always have the the best ideas, man. Um, it's, we got a lot of smart people in the community. For real, we just gotta um start using start using our head and um and stop. Don't take everything that I'm saying um, as in like, oh, I could do it or what, what you saying is not true or whatever, because the, the what worked for me might not work for you. Everybody financial situation ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? But um, y'all be thinking um, too. I would say y'all, but everybody be thinking too, too basic. Like we like not I, I would say no, nah, I wouldn't even say basic. I feel like it ain't basic enough going back to credit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, you know. It's really, it's really basic. Just give, give yourself six months to build, to set a goal to build something. If I, if I didn't have a one credit, bro, like I wouldn't get in. I would have failed in trucking. It was only because I had the money to play the game. And the thing is, I did trucking with other somebody else's money, millions of dollars off of somebody else's back, off somebody else's bread. I had to pay it back, but still. So I haven't even really put a whole lot of my only my own money in. You know, I lost that that first eighty, but after that, I was playing with the church's money. Do you have any advice on getting local loans besides Amazon because the rates are trash and I'm having a hard time staying on top of the gas prices? Um, I would say definitely. Um, on the local scene, I would say you need to reach out to. Um, I I be saying this. Um, to carrier services, like um. Like I said, it's carry expresses in a lot of different states, but I don't really know what state you're in, John. Um, but as far as local work, man, I I would I was going door to door, and I feel like you're gonna have to go door to door. You're gonna have to be calling people um, on Google and just really like that. Like the default thing to do when we find, and then you in Ohio, so Ohio is like the best place to for, for work. So you got to go hit up some people. Um, go go to the hospitals, like wherever y'all see, wherever I seen trucks at. If I seen trucks parked there, box trucks, and I'm in a box truck, I'm pulling up to the place and trying to find who the shit, trying to act like I, I'm at the, uh, I'm looking for a place or something like that. Like I'm gonna pull up in there and be like, "Hey, is this so and so?" I'm gonna act like I got me a little bol or whatever. Hey, how how I sign on with y'all with these trucks? Um, what I gotta do to sign? Oh man, I ain't the one you um, to talk to. Um, the shipping manager, oh, he right up in there. Boom, park the truck and walk in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real. Like you, you got to get out and get off of the internet and Craigslist and the the best money stuff that I made in trucking came from my something. Somebody sent me something to my email. Is either somebody sent me something to my email or either somebody uh, or either there was something that I found online on Google. Just now, nah, Craigslist did have a believe it or not, Craigslist. But this was probably about three years ago when I was in Phoenix. It was about three years ago. It was about three years ago uh, when I found um, this company called. PCS, um, PCS surface delivery. They um they on the West Coast. So anybody out in like Cali, Phoenix, hit them up because they got they 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 um got this thing called like they teamed up with Red Away and they they pay by the bill. So that's why I like doing their local work because they local work paid by the bill. So if I got three, three, um, if I got three loads that's going to the Home Depot, the same place, I'm getting paid separate for each ticket. And it pay by the way. So if y'all really make money, that's why Amazon ain't ever been good. Like you need to you need to find work that pays by the weight and by the bill. When they pay by the weight and the bill, it's it's I'm you talking seven hundred dollars in a day for doing like maybe a hundred miles. It might take you. Forgot I be having older people. It might take you a little bit longer to um to get it going, but it'll be worth it. It'll be hella worth it. All right, so I'm finna, I got a question coming in for um, what's up, your movie company? Uh, oh yeah, I'm still working on it right now. I'm moving assets around right now to get, get a budget for that right now. But this is media right here, though. I mean, believe it or not, when I, when I say I'm I'm doing film, video, 
content. This is all real estate right here. This is all digital real estate. It's a part of my whole thing right here. I'm going live for y'all answering questions. But when people come back and watch this, I'm getting paid for it. You see what I'm saying? I get checks every month, you know, from YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So keep just keep that in mind. This is just practice. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely working on it. Have you ever looked at doing box trucks in Louisiana? Nah, I don't like nowhere really by the water for real. What up, what up, all man transport? I see you on here. You know, popping. Hold on, man. My my thing might be did it just go dead? Hold on, I'm thinking my gimbal just went dead or so. Hold on real quick. Hold on, IG. There we go. We're getting back on track. All right, we good. What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Kobe Pegway. So yeah, so if y'all um wanna wanna get on, I can see y'all questions better on YouTube, but it's all good because I need I need the alg the algorithm for on um, IG anyway. So let's continue. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to this question on YouTube. I got a question. Um what's good, Kobe? You just said a few minutes ago about business credit. What has taken me a few weeks to piece together? I'm on my journey now. People listen up. This man just dropped the gym. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Hey, I be trying to tell people, but 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 everybody swear they know. It's all good, man. Like I said, hey, some people would give me some people. I took a risk and got a pretty, pretty loan to buy my truck using personal credit. It has paid off. I got a contract with the direct shipper at the ATL airport. It took me about a year to get it. I got 10 miles on um, 10 miles and each trip is a minimum of $400 a load. Some days I do three loads a day. The timing is perfect. Given the current gas prices for sure. Hey, Eric. Put me on to that. I go, you know what I'm saying? I'll get you another box truck. Go on ahead, plug me in. Like I said, if I see an opportunity, I go get a box truck and put me a driver in that mug real quick. You know what I'm saying? To get it, but it just got to make sense for me. For real. Hey, y'all get the likes up too, though. Um, on, on, on YouTube and um, on on YouTube and um, and Facebook especially. But IG too, man. Send it, send it in. I just I, I need more engagement for the algorithm so they can spread it out. Why not the water personal? Uh, what do you say? Why not? Why not the water personal or business risk? Yeah, I don't know what you mean by the, by that. Um, Bobby, Bobby C Johnson on IG. I really don't know what you um what you mean by that. Or maybe you trying to put me on some game that I just don't know about yet. And I ain't trying to pretend to be no expert. Like, as if, like, I don't, I just, like I said, I just own about a million dollars worth of assets. That's all. That's all. I ain't a genius. I ain't a, um, well, I think I'm a fucking genius, though. Yeah, I would say that. I don't want to say I ain't no genius. I think I'm, I know what I'm talking about to a certain extent, but I'm still learning a whole lot of different, different things. So I live live from Mississippi. I've been watching you for almost six months now. I haven't jumped in the game yet, but. I'm waiting on this grant to pay for my truck and trailer. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, I say this grants is all type of stuff. It's all, it's all type of stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, you talking about the, the Louisiana? No, nah, I'm just saying like um, when you when you buy the water, it's it's just more difficult to um to navigate. Like the the loads typically pay a whole lot cheaper, a whole a whole lot less when you buy the water. So that's why I said I don't really deal with like New Orleans, Louisiana, um, New Orleans, Louisiana area. Mississippi, I don't Florida. I don't. I don't really deal with nothing unless I got something, something real, real good that's um coming out of there. Let me see. I'm, hold on, I'm just scrolling down, trying to make sure I ain't miss nobody question. Uh, all right, cool. I don't know. I can't. My arm tired from scrolling up. But yeah, so so I'm caught up on questions on both. Um, are you saying I bought my truck from your man Glee, Glee, Glee? Are you saying Glenn? Yeah, Eric, who you bought your truck from? When it happens, I'm thinking about your company being my dispatcher. All right, all right, for sure. Yeah, like I said, I mean, we got we accept the new clients, but like I said, um. You got to be getting a semi, though. Yeah, that's the only way we're going to be able to dispatch you, for real. Did you ever drive? Yeah. 
Yeah, I definitely drove for the first. I just stopped driving to at December 2019. So yeah, I was driving. I drove all the way up to that peak season. And at that time I had 10 trucks once I stopped driving. Grants, um, you can look up grants. Like I said, everything is on Google and, and do the research. Cause that's like this. If I got me a grant, right? Like if I learn something and, and this is what happened. I give out certain game, but certain things like I, I can't walk y'all to the water. Well, certain certain people pay me, you know, I um I give out like more information that because they they I, I deem them to be a little more serious, but it's only so much game you're gonna give out because guess what? If I tell you somebody everything, it's almost like the rental situation. Like I was able to um my whole business model changed based on me telling everybody to go get rentals. People started to use the bit same business model as me. I gave that game out, but then it ended up pushing me out in a sense, because then I had to go buy trucks because it wasn't no more rentals. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you know, these days I'm watching a little bit what I say for free because I don't want nobody buying rushing a certain thing. And then, you know what I'm saying? It ended up running out, especially when I got people that actually pay me. So like if nobody paid me, then, you know, that'd be different, but it ain't, it ain't really fair for real. Verita's equipment finance got me two new box trucks. Only 18 months in business. Try them out if you're looking for finance. I think renting box trucks was a waste of money to me. Oh, yeah, it was for, for probably the you, but I never paid over $425 a week to rent a box truck. So when I had 25 trucks, I was only paying $350, nine cents a mile. So it made perfect sense. Glee, he ran for you with Amazon. Yeah, man, bro, I don't even know, man. It's so many people that ran for me um, up at Amazon, bro. I can't even remember everybody. Somebody just spotted me out, and um, somebody's running for me at Amazon. Um, I was just somewhere. I was at, I was at Urban Air in Atlanta. Um, yeah, yeah, somebody definitely, um, you know, we was chopping it up, me and Chris. What was the most I could make doing team as an owner-operator with your team dispatcher driving? Uh, well, well, with one driver, we doing like I said, we averaging like seven thousand. So you probably do about fourteen thousand a week. Okay, I know who you talking about, Maddox. Um, yeah, that's um, what was his name? Maddox, Maddox Glido. Maybe, maybe I knew him as something different though. But yeah, I know who Maddox um, Transport was. I know exactly who you talking about. What's the price range? Well, it's a small world. <laughs> Small, small, and then I end up running into you at the at the place behind the pallet jack. So yeah, I did definitely been active in the field though for sure. What's the price range you would recommend for a trailer? I seen them one for thirty eight for two thousand eight. You could you could find two thousand eight for definitely cheaper than that for sure. Cause cause on uh, trailer strong, he definitely just sold two thousand eight for probably like twenty twenty three or twenty five or something. So I'm stuck. I, uh, I have. Here's a, here's a um somebody talking um boss rider kills from YouTube is saying I'm stuck. I want I want to say he's saying Kobe um I have 20 years experience CDL have my own authority just can't find a truck only have around 10k I have to go active by November 1st. Um, you you might have to put that 10k down on the truck, you know, because it's trucks out here to buy. You just might have to um put some down. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, man. We accepting more dispatch clients too right now. So and go take the free five day challenge. I mean, everybody that's trying to get in the game, there ain't no point of not clicking on that link that we got um in the, on, on IG and my link tree and then in the, in the description for the free five day challenge for my dispatch course. You ain't even gotta take the whole course. The, the five day challenge is free. You know, if you feel like you can get some game, then you know, support. Support the business. Y'all spend real, hold on real quick. What you know about in the model? Not a whole lot for real. Not a whole lot. You say what? When when it okay, all right, you said that. Just got in the game, pulling up, pulling and end up trailer. For a local company in Houston, started out with some major repairs, but going well now. I appreciate your insight. All right, for sure. 
I appreciate you sharing that with us because that's a whole nother part of the game. You know, it's bigger than dry vans and reefers, man, and flatbeds. It's definitely a whole dump game. When does peak season officially start in your opinion? Um, I would say I started getting trucks ready in October, but it usually launch about like right, right around Black Friday. What's the price range you reckon? Okay, we seen that. So I mean I must have just skipped that question. My bad. All right. Um actually, which is more profitable during peak season for 26 for a straight for, uh, Amazon or OTR? It just depends for real, because this weekend, did this um this peak season was trash. So um typically I could I could keep all my trucks running twice a day. And I typically make at least a hundred. I got, I made probably seventy five thousand on a bad peak season profit in just the last the last five six weeks of the year. So, yeah, it's big money. But I ain't I ain't do nothing extra this year. How do you feel about Intermodal? Inter Intermodal is good. Um, I know a couple people killing in it. You know, they just never killing it for that long. Um, and then you ain't really got control over them releasing those containers and stuff like that. So the way, the amount of money for the, how to tear your truck up, I don't, you know, I don't advise to me at this time. The direct, direct with a, a ATL airport sponsored me to get my TSA certification different from, from the Twig car, but I have my Twig car too as well. I right, for sure. Hey, Eric, hey man, hit me in the email or, or if you got my number, um, I know we linked up. I just don't remember. Um, if you if you have my contact information, but send me an email to info at Kobe Pegway, man, so we can link up, man, and talk about that. Cause I mean, getting that TSA, because uh, I had cause Skyline Carrier Service had got me mines in Atlanta, my um TSA card. Okay, cool. Um, I don't see no more questions, and I'm 43 minutes in. Okay. So I'm 43 minutes in. I don't see no more questions dropping. Um, anybody that's following me on YouTube, I'm going to be going live more often on IG because I ain't got to have, like, no setup, and I can pretty much do that from anywhere. I'm going to probably be going live, like, every day um, on IG. So just um, if y'all not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because um, I'm going to be going live, like, every day over there, and I'm going to be going live. I'm trying to go live, like, twice a week over here on YouTube. But I, try, I don't see no more questions. I gave it a few seconds to drop. I don't know if YouTube moving too slow, but I don't see no more questions. So if y'all if y'all follow me on YouTube, I finna shut down YouTube and um and um and move over to IG for like another ten minutes, and then um it's gonna be a wrap. How do I get to? Hey, look, if y'all um so like right now, if y'all can move over to my to my Instagram, I finna shut this down so I can move around a little bit. Cause this this setup got me stationary on YouTube, but yeah. So I I YouTube peace. Um, I get with y'all in a minute. Um, uh, if y'all want to um, continue, um, follow me over to uh, Instagram. 